right. So if you're just chiming in, if you haven't been here in uh, in the loop before, um, that's the show. We do a countdown of some of the hottest, craziest stories that's happening around the world, around the country. And so tonight, we're just going to do five stories. We're going to get in. We're going to get out. But we got some wild five stories tonight. We're going to so. get in, and we're going to get out. We're going to get in, and we're going to get out. I got something in my face. Okay. Um, also, um, our director, Davis, is going to post up the YouTube uh, subscriber link. We need y'all to subscribe to that page. We appreciate it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe when you can. And you can watch previous shows on the YouTube page as well. Plus, we do this show in the actual studio. This is the IG version of In The Loop. So when you go to that right, that's YouTube why I page, can't get my lighting right. Because yeah. I ain't no lighting type of having brother. I do my thing in the dark. He had the best light in the studio, and they had me looking like Whoopi. Okay? So well, 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 right now, you look like Mother Teresa, and I look like a dirty sock in a vacant lot. So we even. Oh, okay. Perfect, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off with story number five. Okay, story number five. I got to take a deep breath on this one because we got a little debate that we want to do back and forth with this one. All right, number five. Scientists in Hong Kong are trying to figure out how rats, okay? Rats are infecting the population with a new strain of hepatitis. Rats. So CNN reported that 11 people got infected. Oh, um, is this a story about 6 ix 9 No. I, are you hearing me? I said hepatitis. No, yeah, you said there's a new... Rat that has an epidemic. <laughs> that's really this sounds like a six nine story. What's up, Todd? What's up, James? Darnell. Um, <laughs> so eleven people got infected with hepatitis E. First of all, I've never heard of hepatitis E. I heard of hepatitis C, B, and A. Okay. Now, since April 30th, 11 people got infected with hepatitis E. This is out in Hong Kong. They say it causes fever, jaundice, long-term liver damage. They said they cannot figure out what's causing it, um, transmission of the disease. They said the latest patient didn't have any rats. The latest patient didn't have any recent travel and no rat droppings inside of his home. Doctors hope more public health authorities start to pay attention, they say, to the virus so it can be controlled and minimized. Half a time. Okay, so what is that? I, got, I got a few questions. I was born in a ghetto. I slept <laughs> on the floor with roaches and rats, and I ain't never caught no hippomatitis. None of that, right? So <laughs> what is they doing? Up. How is they catching this shit with these rats? These people are going to stop playing around with these things. Hey, they either <laughs> eat them or beating them. So they better stop it. Hey, if you eating or beating a rat, you better quit it because they, 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 look, she said, I ain't been with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so they go to the doctor and they say, uh, sir, you have been diagnosed with hepatitis E. It's like, Hold on, how could I have that? This is my accent of the Hong Kong. <laughs> That's my Hong Kong accent. Hold on, how could I have that? So the thing is, is that I, I am suspecting, okay? This is just me suspecting. Maybe what? they're consuming the rats. Okay? Maybe they're consuming the rats, or maybe they the rats. Why? Why does it have to be that way? I'm saying they, listen... Why do you have to be that way? Because in other countries, they have sex with animals. They call it bestiality. First of all, there was a term for having sex with animals, and it's not called bestiality. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's it called? Hood rats? Oh they got hood rats? Unbelievable. Are these hood rats we talking about? <laughs> I'm saying Hepatitis E. Oh man, this is got hepatitis E now. This don't really sound like new news. This is real news, and you need to be concerned. Okay, I'm pretty concerned about what hood rats got going on. What you talking about is zoophilia. They say that's what that's called when people. Let's let's talk about the rat. There is a rat that's affecting the street, and he gave it. He got, what was it? Eleven people. <laughs> Eleven people got they feeling around for that rat. <laughs> yeah, buddy. There is a rat affecting the streets. <laughs> hey, James Darnell, what's up, player? For y'all that don't know, we got so many important people on our timeline. This man right here is an actor out in LA. You know what I'm yes. saying? 
But you say he's a real actor, like we're, we're real parts in real movies. Good shout out to James Darnell, man. And thank all y'all people for coming and watching uh, Monday Night in the Loop. You know, that we call this, you know, Monday Motivation, the Mud Night, because we all have hard days on Monday. We just come to chill and fellowship, yeah. you know, me and my beautiful co host. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for coming in and, and spending y'all Monday night with us, church. And if you haven't subscribed to this thing, subscribe to this thing, man. So when we get back to the studio, we all are being tuned. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. My man. My man. My man. Yeah, but the, but the hood rats, I've been here to that. That ain't news. I'm done. But yeah, so Hong Kong has hepatitis E because of the rats. We don't know how they're getting hepatitis E, hepatitis e from the rats, but I'm assuming that they're consuming these rats. Maybe Master Splinter pimping. Maybe Master Splinter over in Hong Kong pimping. And, and you know, I don't know. But I bet you they just ain't eating them. They eating them, all right? Master Splinter, really? Of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? He's not a turtle. He's a rat. Yeah, but you're talking about Master Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. And he's a rat. He could be a pimp. He could have rat, Uh, you know. I don't know if Horace, you can say Horace on, on you know. Oh, hey, for all y'all that don't know, we just going to keep it real, right? I've been censored. So we're going to keep it 100. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell it all. I've been censored. They told me you I got to watch my motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? I that. said, I'm a black man in America. I ain't got to watch nothing but run it through a neighborhood or driving or breathing or trying to go get a snapper from the stove. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's okay. You don't have to explain it. Number All right, four. so we're going to move on to number four. I'm surprised we didn't get the... Remember that one dude? <laughs> he was like... <laughs> he gave us like three of them. He was like, like oh, man, this shit garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to move on to number four. Story number four in the loop. We was almost waiting on Davis to do that shit. <laughs> All right, so this one is an interesting one, but it's it's kind of like not really that surprising. But um, it's definitely a story that people have been talking about for years. And now there's a survey that says more than a third of Americans admit to snooping around their partner's phones. So if you thought that somebody was looking at your phone, there's a third of Americans. That's 42% of women um, and 25% uh, of men say that they, they, and they admit to checking out their partner's phones and that they feel like their partners are too distracted with, with their phones. <laughs> hey, hey, hey y'all, listen, check it out. If you would look through your significant other phone, hit the number one. Hit yes. the number one. Hit the, keep it real. Keep it real. Okay. Hit the number one. Okay, and if you would not look into your significant other's phone, hit zero. Hit zero. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what type of people we're in here with. Look at through their girlfriend, boyfriend's phones. Hey, hey, hey. I want to see. I want to know what it was at. What it, what it was and zeros at. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if David, you were looking, <laughs> David say he going through that phone. Hey, Rachel say she ain't going through nobody's phone. How would you Laura say she going through the phone. Oh, Church say he ain't going through nobody's phone. Okay. It's two to two. Right, two to two. Who going to be the wow. top right there? No phones? Oh, okay. We got some trusted people on here. Uh, I, think it just, I think it just got old, like looking through the phone, but apparently it's a whole study out. One like a mother. One like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Two or zero. No, nah, no phones. James, why are you looking through phones, James? That is insecure. You need to focus on the relationship, not what's in her phone, okay? That's very insecure, James. <laughs> <laughs> James, show your six pack. <laughs> He That's said, I, like, hey, speak, like, I can just look through phones. Big A from the STP. Hey, look, check this out. So, so you ain't never looked through nobody's phone, Shazel? Listen, it was a long time ago. A long time. It was at least three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> class, three man. weeks in the peak ago? Three That's weeks, the pack. Three weeks in the peak. I gave it up. No, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. So I looked in this dude's phone, and, like, me and the dude are not, like, in no relationship or nothing. But I did look through his phone. And so then, you were stealing, like, man. So you were stealing. 
Let me tell y'all what I saw on his phone. Let me make sure he's not in here. Hold on. Okay, cool. So listen. So he had in his phone, it was a female that actually was talking about the fact that she didn't, he didn't, she, I guess she asked to borrow him some, to borrow some money from him. And I guess he didn't respond or he didn't give her the money or whatever. She was just like, oh, well, I guess if you don't want to give me no, you know, you, you could have just told me you didn't want to give me the money. You didn't have to just stop talking to me. So I guess that's what it is. And I guess we'll, you know, we'll just leave it at that. Have a nice life or whatever. So I guess she decided she was going to be done talking to him because he, she tried to borrow money from him. And I guess he ignored her. Like, who does it? I wasn't in his phone. I wasn't in his phone. The phone fell on the floor. I picked it up. I tried to make sure it wasn't broke. See what I'm saying? I was doing the right thing. <laughs> so, you look so at it. You had, have to look at it to make so sure why, it's not so, right. so, so what did you do? I didn't do nothing. I kept it to myself to this day. To this day. Did you tell him? You ain't tell him? Nope. Oh, why not? If that ain't your man, y'all ain't got nothing going on. Because I just felt like that's his business. It just so happened. I, you know how you can see a message on the the, the screen, you know what I mean? Like, it, I didn't go in the phone, but it was on the, on the front I'm with, screen. I'm, hey, I went keys back down, man. I don't buy that. I don't what? buy that. I think, you, cool I think you got that passcode in four different... Uh, look, she got that passcode in four different visits. She's like, you know, they be slick, bro. They get that one motherfucking number. They be like, three. All right, I'll wait till next time I see him. Seven. I didn't go in the phone. It was on next the... Next week, be like, one. You know, you know when you look in the phone and or you when you hit the button on the phone, your screen the screen comes. I don't comes know. Up. No shit. You know. I, I don't know nothing about that. I'm illiterate when it comes to phones. I'm a man. I might as well be a Flintstone when it comes to phones. I don't be. I don't know how to block nobody. I don't know how to uh, automatic call back. I don't know call ID. I don't know forward call. I don't know nothing but pick up, dial, and hang up. You don't know how to do that even because you don't think you can find a text. Guess what? I got five phones. Ain't that a <laughs> Hello. But you're the stalker you lady. Me. Hey, y'all. Can you? Okay, so this will kill me. A beautiful Chantel looking, beautiful Chantel looking girl could be a stalker. I'm not a stalker. I told you that it just wasn't my fault. It the phone was right there, right? Okay, sitting there looking like lonely. You know, what I'm hey. saying? you know how the phone look lonely. Be careful. <laughs> be, be careful. You know it be them ones right there, buddy. <laughs> it be you the dimes right there, buddy. You know how sometimes right there, the phone. Your, phone hey, hey, one more before we go ahead, because because the producer said we gotta go. I see a couple more players just pop in here. I need four more people to answer this question. One, if you will go in your significant other's phone. Zero, if you won't. Four more people, we to the next story. I want to see, because I just seen some people in here I want to answer. If you ain't answer, answer for me, because I want to see the answer. One, I will go through your phone. I will snoop. I will see who you sexing. Two, I mean, zero, I won't. So let, let's see what's up. Zero, we got a zero. Queen of Hearts says she ain't going to nobody's phone. Okay. That's one. Well, uh, that's Dad say he ain't with it. Don't listen to that. It. It. Yeah. Oh, he be in the phone. Okay. We got some oh, secure people in here. That's what I'm talking about. If I get one on. more zero, oh, we got one. We got one. Okay, that's three. Okay. What's the listen. last? What's the last one gonna be? What's the last one gonna be? Come on, come on with this. Come on with this. Girl. Come on with this. This can't be life. First they snitching. First they let six nine out about this. <laughs> about this. You gonna have to. Going yeah, you gonna have your feelings hurt if you go through any phone because they all cheat. Let me tell you about women. <laughs> they all true. cheating whether they know it or not. Listen, not if you click it on Instagram and you making some food and somebody get on your thing and be like, "Oh, that look good. Can I get a plate?" You're like, "Yeah, you get a plate. You cheating." That's how we feel. What are you talking about? Number three. Let's go to number three, man. You would never understand. Don't, don't listen to Asda. He be all in the videos, dancing. Yeah, you would <laughs> never understand this thing, how this thing yeah. going, man. What's it number three? Not, what, what, like what's number three? You putting us in a bad place. I'm finna go hide I all my phones. I'm going to people's phones. Hold up. Let me put my hands up there. I ain't going to lie. I have done it because she gave me reasons to. I feel I needed to check. There you okay. go. There you go. You got to do what you got to do. 
She said that's not cheating. I post a lot of food. Uh oh. There you go. Somebody talking good in here in this thing. <laughs> right till we see now. Right. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move on to number three. Story number three. We gotta move on. Somebody, All right, so if you're joining sick. us, if you just joining us, the show is called In the Loop. We do a countdown, we're doing top five stories. Some of the crazy stories, top five stories around the country. All right, so we're going to go to number three. Number three is another versus battle. I don't know if y'all saw the Erica Badu. Um, and uh, Erica Badu did the battle with Jill Scott this past weekend. Wow, it was life. Michelle Obama showed up in, uh, in the IG Live. They had up to, I think they had about 2 million views total Man. or something like that. Hey, Erica Badu smoked her though, cuz. Man, you know what? Erica Badu's energy is everything to my life. It was one point Jill Scott was so, you can tell Jill Scott is more sensitive. She's more like very sensual. She's, She's very. Cry in the car. She cries about, she was crying throughout the whole thing. She Erica, like, you're crying. She's a, she's a gummy bear. She's one of those fat gummy bears. <laughs> She's, she's so sensitive to everything, and I get it because the music will have you crying. But it was at one point Jill was super serious. She was like, you know, sometimes, sis, life just gets so hard, you know, and don't you just sometimes you just get angry, sis? Erica was like, no, nah, I'm chilling. Erica was like, this, she was like, Erica said, Erica said, you know, what I'm going to do. Erica was like, I'm clever. <laughs> She said, like, I'm mad about what? If I get mad about something, I do what I got to do to get unmad and I move on. I love that response. I thought it was a Hey, that motherfucker, Erica Badu, is a beast. Shout out to Erica Badu and every woman like her. You hear me? Yeah, Shout out, I mean, man. Erica Badu, man. Listen, man. Real talk. You, the, 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 first of all, in a, in a woman. A man just just to just have changed. a creative woman is off the chain. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That Erica Badu, the way she came across, I love Jill Scott. Don't tell, I'm taking yeah. away nothing yeah. from Jill Scott. She's an yeah. awesome uh, enigma. You know what I'm saying? But Erica Badu, mm. Shorty, Shorty put on the outfit and fit the song. She put the outfit on to fit the song and sung the song <laughs> to the yeah. outfit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That clever song, she killed that. That was a that was a win win. I can't, but I heard a rumor though. I heard a rumor that Ludacris. Yeah, that's number three story. Ludacris and Nelly is supposed to be the next versus battle on IG Live. Ludacris and Nelly, what do y'all think? Hey, look, one for I... Ludacris, two for Nelly. You see where we going with this? I'm gonna tell y'all soon. We get fives. Answers. I'm gonna tell you my answer. One for Ludacris. One for Ludacris. Two for two for Nelly. I'm rolling with Ludacris, hands down. I think that Ludacris is so lyrically underrated. Like lyrically underrated. Like Ludacris got bars. Like he will come and hit hard on. Like I just love Ludacris. Like three as a is not a damn like, option. What dyslexic huh? autistic? Cool. Luda gonna kill him. Another guy just hit him. Man, Luda is gonna listen, man. Listen, Mad Nelly. Listen, man. If you heard Luda's new, the Luda's first albums, like his yeah. whole shit used to bang. Yeah. Like one through whatever. Now Nelly though, if they had a swag war or yeah. a drip, you know, like a drip drill, uh, ain't nobody touching Nelly. Not a drip <laughs> drill. You know what I'm saying? You had a drip drill. You know what I'm saying? If you had a if you had a Von Sway part, you know what I mean? If Nelly wow. would win. Cause Nelly's a smooth sucker, boy. Well, he said, uh, you ain't from Russia. So that's why you're Russian. I'm like, okay. Okay. But I'm gonna look, know. look, you so old. You so old. That just touched your old soul. Hey y'all, that just touched her old soul. She said, drip drill? Ooh, I like how that sound. I'm saying you call that a drip drill. I'm just trying to figure out what that is. I you know can't Google drip drill, church. I know what a tip drill is. Excuse you me. No drip Thank drill. You. you can't just Google that. Relax. <laughs> hey, somebody <laughs> come get their auntie, man. Somebody come <laughs> get their auntie that be slicking through people's phones and shit. Y'all <laughs> come get y'all come get y'all <laughs> smoking ass auntie. <laughs> Low key, I want to hear Tip Drill now. You just made me feel like I wanted to hear that. Hey, look, <laughs> hey, look Nelly, Nelly did have some hard hitters like Air Force Ones and 
You know what I'm saying? And, and that joint with him and Kelly Rowland. But Luda? Come I on, man. You. Luda came out. Cadillac spills. Cadillac kills. Look at the all oh, my Cadillac spills. Yes. yes. What? Come on, man. Lover, lover. He, he, he responsible for, uh, what's shorty name? That, that Fiki used to hit. Old girl, uh, Sierra. She oh. brought Sierra out. Luda did, yeah. Yeah, man, Sierra. Man, man, man look, man, Luda all day. Luda I, I didn't hear all about day. I think I did hear about John Henry. I, I haven't um looked into it, but yeah, I did hear a movie called. I didn't know Ludacris was in that movie. John Henry. I got holes. It's still getting played in my pocket. I got holes. I got holes. I got holes. You know? And you know, Luda started in the shot. He started in the Midwest. He's a Midwest boy. And he yeah. got holes. So we, so we have determined that Ludacris is more than likely going to win this battle. Womp that ass. We call it womp that ass. I don't know what's going to happen, though, because you low-key, like you said, like, Luda got some hits. Nelly got some you hits. You said we they sleep on songs. Nelly. Nobody sleep on Nelly, no, bro. Nelly, Nelly just, just ain't it. that. Oh. He's not a rapper. Nelly say, look up and had a small Walgreens. Come on, man. He was he was a, a finesser. You know what I mean? Luda will get on your yeah, that ass. That Saturday song was everything. That's like, that's going to be a tough grammar. one. That was it. After Cut Your Grammar, what you doing? Yeah. What you doing after country grammar? You got a no, couple things. He did a couple things after that. He a did couple, some stuff after yeah. that. A couple. Luda got listen, man. Luda, the only reason Luda Luda got seven fast and furious. Seven of them. You need an extra S on that. That's fast seven and furious. Furious sisters. <laughs> fast and furious sisters. Yeah, right, Amen. Christopher move, Lover Lover wins. We're going to move on to number two. But I, I think Luda's going to take that one. I mean, I love Nelly and everything, but I really think Luda got that one. I just can't deny Luda. Like, every time I hear every verse that Luda ever did, I don't even care if I don't like the song. I'm always just so thoroughly impressed. And one other thing about Ludacris that I have in common with him that I rock with him a little more heavy is because he was a radio personality first. Yeah, I knew you was going to say that, Chris. Lover yeah. Lover. And so I just think that's dope for go to go from radio to music to movies and to being a superstar. And, and being a I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan about how he proposed to his wifey though. He low key just made her marry him. He didn't even give her a chance to have her family around or nothing. He married. He said her. he wouldn't get on his knees neither. At all, I ain't like that. But what I'm not getting mean? on my knees. To, to yeah, marry you. What? And say please. I'm what, not getting on my knees. No, I'm not getting on my knees to marry you. I'm not doing that. What you gonna do? Stand you, well, you up. You gotta stand on the chair. I stand on the chair and walk up to you. That's disrespectful. I put this big ass ring on your finger. You ain't gonna care if I'm standing up or sitting down, flipping to nothing. You got yourself a point. <laughs> <laughs> well, your motherfucking hand go, ugh. For the I'm rest like, of your life. Man, I always gotta get, you know what I'm saying? I feel what you're saying. That it do hurt on your knees. I get you. <laughs> I <do. laughs> see, that's all I'm saying. Your knees are old. I see where you come from. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I get you. All right, we're gonna move on to story number two. Okay. We gone from it. Systematic, we gone from it. Lots of laugh, facts, facts. See, we are we are millennium men. We don't get on our knees and propose to nobody. We can wash our own dishes. We can do our own clothes. We don't need nothing. Y'all here to accompany us, not to take care of us. We here to take care of ourselves. Don't, don't, we don't. We the new men, man. Don't, don't do it to yourself. Don't. That's this a new, new This is a new man. You mad because we don't really need y'all no more. Who mad? Who? We mad because I don't. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me pull up some stats for you on oh, how. Women, black women, especially, are the ones getting the Damn, there you go. See, they got to throw the color in there when they get mad. You know, let me tell you something. First of all, the I black... I have proof, and I need to do. No, hey, Davis, tell her, hey, Davis, tell her to go with that shit. Hey, Davis, tell her to go on with that. Well, black women have the most degrees, are the high, most highly educated of all women uh, throughout the, the, the world. And so we need what? Who we need? It said, this is a man as well. She said, who needs me? But what else did he say? It doesn't mean nothing. 
Without, without a woman. A woman okay, or a so girl. I'm a woman I'm or a girl. That means my daughter. Boy, please. All right, let's move on to number two. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on to number two. All right. Pussy so number popping two. the tip drill wouldn't be anyone if it wasn't for a woman. We made the world okay. Y'all right? All right. Whatever. Damn. <laughs> well, let me let me tell you this. When that when that robber break in the house at night, who getting out that bed? Me or you? I'm sorry. It was an awkward silence. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> let me see. when the ADT go off. And bro, uh, man, in your front room, taking all your 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 prized possessions, your Louis Vuitton, everything. Who gonna get out there bed with that big cat? Whoever, whoever gets to the gun first, I just tell you like that. You promise? <laughs> whoever gets to the you gun promise? first. Because you, <laughs> you can't. Like, you ain't got no time to put on no no lace fronts and shit. You ain't got I'm no time to get out the bed, and put the lace front on, go kill a robber. No. I seen you sleep. I drove you home one day. You were sleeping in the car. You sleep hard. I sleep light, okay? No, that's it. So, that's in the car. I'm safe in the I'm car. That's where that. I sleep at. Oh. All I need to hear is... <laughs> David said you got ADT. <laughs> <laughs> David said you got ADT. <laughs> Who the hell said that? <laughs> David said you got ADT. No, I got the ring, Davis, and I got this big-ass 357 in my kitchen. <laughs> You got <laughs> I am done. <laughs> What's number two? What's All number right, so two? two? All right. So number two is another debatable uh, story. And this is debatable? like for people that's traveling. So there's another um, There's another uh, new rule coming out about flying. If you plan on traveling anytime soon. And the debate comes from this. Because I just went to the grocery store today. And even though we're coming down, like the the, the the pandemic has been going on for so long, I really feel like people are still so, there's, you got this side of people that's super nervous and super careful, and you got this side of people that's like, you know what, I just want to live my life. So anyway, if you got a flight coming up, if you, if you got a flight coming up, um, starting today, American Airlines, Southwest, Alaska, and Spirit are all requiring that travelers wear their face masks when they travel. And they say if you're on the flight, you can take it off if you're going to eat some food. Um, Delta, Frontier, JetBlue, they already made that. It's like law. If you're going to fly, you have to wear a face mask. Now, the only reason why this story to me is a little relevant because the whole time, it's not about bragging or nothing like that, but I just, I have not one time worn a face mask. And I just don't. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, <I> gotta... <laughs> You making me feel uncomfortable right now talking about you ain't never worn no mask and shit. I'm make, I feel like I need to put one on talking to your ass right now, fam. You can't talk to people with you can't talk to people regular. You know what I'm saying? This is she said we all gotta die someday. And you know they say they say that your mask don't work if you exactly. can blow. the mask protects you if you have it, it keeps you from giving it to somebody else. But they say it does not protect you from Contracting, but they say if you could blow it, if you could blow a, a lighter out, that you that you know it ain't blocking shit no way. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, they say if so you. Let's so let's see if your mask is worth something, buddy. <laughs> let's see. No, don't no, no, face. Let, me, let me go please, get a lighter. Let me go get a lighter. Please don't blow your face up live on this thing because I don't want to be a part of that. Wait till we get off of here and do that. <laughs> I don't want to see. I don't want to see your face blown up. But, you know, so basically, if you're going to be traveling, if you're going to be flying, first of all, I'm a Delta queen. I am spoiled by Delta. I cannot travel with Spirit Frontier. I don't know nothing about none of that. So Delta's already decided as law. Well, you have to wear your face mask. I don't like, I don't wear a mask. I go to any store. I do anything. I don't know what I mean. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but... Do you gotta take your call? Cause that's more important. <laughs> no, what we got going on. He said roll of blood and test it out. Y'all ready? <laughs> okay, let's see. He said he's about to go viral. <laughs> Be careful, dude. That one worked. <laughs> it worked. Shit, I damn near passed out trying to get what? Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
I thought you said if you can blow it out, it, that means it, it's not strong enough. I, it took me 45 times to blow <laughs> I damn near blew the, uh, I damn near blew the back of my motherfucking head off. You was able to blow it out. It don't work. Get rid of it. Throw it Chantel, away. Listen, I was blowing so hard that my head almost exploded. I think I was pumping my head up every time I blew that thing. This works. <laughs> Shit. I'm blowing and I'm out of breath. This thing works for sure. Work. He He's said, this senior, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this was an experiment for real. Wait a minute. It, it, I don't think it worked. You talking about this worked. <laughs> it did. I couldn't blow it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, but you're not supposed to be able to blow it out at all. So it don't work. It I mean, don't work. I mean, I don't know. My breath is kind of light, you know. I got I, if if my breath was cigarettes, it'd be like American Spirit organic. Now I don't know about your Newport Marlboro mouth, mother. That might not work for y'all. Y'all might blow a hole in this bitch. <gasps> oh, you said the B word. I'm telling the producer. I did not. I said blow a hole in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you snitch. Six nine. When did six nine become my co-host, man? <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I had to. All right. You had to. So, okay. Real quick. Was, you a necessity snitch. <laughs> I'm a necessity snitch. I got it too. I'm Real an quick. Abraham Lincoln stepdaughter. I can never tell a lie. I enjoy watching. Real quick before we have to move forward from this story. What's tell us what y'all feeling behind that? Like, are you wearing masks right now when you go out? Are you not wearing masks? I'm seeing people wearing masks. Mask on. <laughs> Keep <laughs> silent. <laughs> you got coronavirus. <laughs> wait, wait. Shit, they call me oh, Chicago King. <laughs> I'm done. Come on, y'all. I am having so much fun on this Monday night. Thank y'all for hanging. It. it ain't over, but I just want to thank y'all now for hanging out, man. I feel better. Y'all make me feel better, man. Every Monday night, the numbers are steady going up. We stay consistent. We, yes. we, this is a good thing. I can't wait till we get back in the studio. I can't wait till we can give away. You know, when we get back in the studio, we got we can give away stuff, all type of stuff. I can't wait to get back. I can't wait. Well, you know, like you like new school tomorrow. I went to school with some of y'all. Remember, we used to go to new school to put the clothes on the bed, boy, kill them in the morning. Boy. Well, we he said, I see people walking by themselves wearing masks. I want to know what all the stinky, I want to know what the stinky breath people do yeah, when they put on the mask. Um, I am queen said, I'm not wearing no mask. My immune system is so strong. Wearing a mask can make you weak to other stuff. You have to get immune to this stuff. Yeah, some people wearing a mask will make you weak to your own breath. <laughs> Some of y'all been reality checks, putting them their mask on. Like, woo, shit. Woo, woo. Look to the back and think you got corona. You're like, nah, you ain't got corona. You got gingivitis, homie. Hey, yo. <laughs> you got here. You got to tell real. Why do people wear masks in their cars and they buy themselves driving in the car? I don't understand that. They driving it like this in the car, like chilling. Hey, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna start putting, I'm gonna start either get, put it like a, a Colgate strip in the mask. They need to sell masks with Colgate strips in them. That's <laughs> that'll pop. That'll pop. I'm, hey, look, that's a new, hey, listen, hey, I want my percentage. Whoever go out with the first Colgate mask, I want one of them. Or with the mouthwash already built into the mask, and all you gotta do is suck on it. I can give you that. <laughs> that's that's you genius. Wait a minute. Right, yeah. but what's up with what's up with these masks? That's like my biggest issue now is that everybody's trying to capitalize off the whole mask thing. So you got all these masks that are just over the top. Like I seen a mask for sale on one of my favorite websites, like fashionable website. They got all kind of diamond masks. I'm talking about diamond rhinestone out. I seen one, you know how when the when the police like they coming out for like if it's a protest and they wear like the, the shields on their face? The stuff they be wearing before they raid my house, yeah. I know. <laughs> Basically, yes. And th they got those for sale, like for you to just buy and wear. And why would I wear that to Cub Foods? Well, you know what? To keep it real with you, the corona, they should have been wearing masks before this corona, because now that we're talking about it, some of y'all breath was COVID anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of glad these masks came out 
Because <laughs> some brothers, just, I can talk to some people now. You know what I mean? Like, I used to couldn't even talk to some people. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of glad these are conversation starters. That's what the mask is. You know what I mean? So, and then, you know, I think Somalians is feeling real disrespected right now. You know what I'm saying? They've been wearing masks. They've been having masks on since the jump. They're like, this ain't nothing new to us. Y'all acting like this is something new. So you want right. a mask, go to the Somali store. You ain't going to find no mask mm -hmm. nowhere. Go to the Somali store. You're going to be straight. Ain't nobody thinking that either. See, I'm giving away all the game. You put Colgate strip in your mask. Ha, ha, ha. You straight. Or you go to the Somali store and get you a real mask. You're going to live forever. Man, I don't know. I just can't get with it. I went to the grocery store today. I went to Cub Foods, and I was just like, I swear, I, I feel like I was literally the only person in there without a mask. Everybody. Else. If I was as beautiful as you, I wouldn't cover my face up. Either. Thank you. Right. Appreciate you. You so you, you such an ass. You couldn't even take that. <laughs> Yo, look, what's your feet doing right now? Your head doing like this right now. Your feet crunched up like, like your feet like this right now. You just evil. You what's way. number two, man? What's the next one, man? Man, black people just can't get along. Even they got a show together. They can't Wait, get along. They my feet like this right now. <laughs> right here. Just crawl like I'm mad. Like. I'm done. I can't. I can't. All right, we're going to move on to story number one. All right, so we talked about this dude probably a few times within the story. It's a couple things going on with your buddy, your little bro, Takashi 69 I don't know if you've seen uh, his IG live that he, before he, um, you know, basically put out his video, Gooba. When he but had on that dude, outfit look like my daughter was wearing? <laughs> yeah, basically. Look like he got dressed up in Sherbert. He's so, he's so flamboyant and he's so just, He's like, he loves to brag. He's just over the top. Like, he's just too much. It, it's a, But he was saying a lot of stuff in that in his IG Live that he put out before he premiered his video. He basically said, look, I did what I had to do. I did the right thing. I snitched on people that wasn't there for me. Why should I take care of people that's not looking out for me? You know what I mean? So <laughs> he said, if people get known. I'm done. Hey, that's my dude. <laughs> hey, that's my dude. Hey, look, and, and I'm gonna tell you, yeah, f him. I'm with him. I'm with. Yeah, hey, look, you get this. You will get the finger. They catch you bad. It's sad. We gotta come up with a new code. So, but anyway, Takashi Six Nine went on there and said that I, I snitched on people that was not there for me. Why should I look out for people that was, you know, doing all this, trying to kill me, trying to kidnap my mom? They tried to do all this stuff to me. So he was on his uh, IG Live before he premiered the video. He got uh, 2 million. He broke the IG Live record, 2 million viewers. He broke Tory Lanez's IG uh, Live record with 2 million viewers. The video, Gooba, when he debuted it, it got 4 million views in the first 30 minutes. Now it's up to like 93 million views. This is the dude that he's like, what, 25 or something like that? Young dude. And now supposedly... They tried to say that he was supposedly signed into Rock Nation, but then somebody from Rock Nation camp came out and said that's not really accurate. There's no evidence to to, to prove that he's signing with Jay Z and Rock Nation, which is crazy because you and him and Meek Mill got the beef that they got because he mentioned Meek Mill in his IG live, and you well, know Meek Mill backed up. Me, uh, he did the shit. He was caught with bitch. Do your time for the shit you did to pay someone ahead of it. Yeah, you know what? The thing is, whether he was supposed to be there or not, you know what I mean? The point is that the streets ain't the, the streets ain't the streets no more. I tried to tell my guys this yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Because I had something I wanted to talk to y'all about. But um, the streets just not the streets no more. You know what I'm saying? All you, 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 it's over. It's over. All yeah. you, all you, what do you say? The gangster shit over. Take it like a man. You know what I mean? That's what, what, that's we, what how we was moving, that's it don't rock like that no more. Yeah. The streets will never be the same again. There will be a, a current. What I mean is by a current, there will be a wave of activity that comes from 6 9 And what I mean by that is there's gonna be a lot of brothers that's gonna be doing shit they know they ain't got no business doing. And two things gonna happen. They either gonna hit the lick and become the neighborhood dummy. Or they're going to miss the lick and they're going to tell on somebody because that's the option now. My option going into some bullshit is I could either do it and win or call, get caught in tail. But this is the trick. 
they sending people to jail for telling them. You know, back right. when we was in the street, you you tell, you get out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? These boys still doing two, three years. You know what I'm saying? So, I, my whole point, my my whole point is saying that is this: six nine is snitching, and now I'm about to hit y'all. So I know I know our crowd is intelligent. We have an intelligent crowd. So I need y'all to follow me with this. Six nine is snitching. He done went to jail, told on a whole bunch of people that he shouldn't have told on. We watched the two white guys jump in a truck and chase down a black man and kill him. Right? Right. Yeah. I watched that video. How did y'all feel? How did you feel about that video? I didn't watch that video, dude. I saw I, I I read all of the piece on it. I could not watch it. I was done watching them videos. It's too okay, many. Okay, so of so tell me the people out there, tell me one, did you one did you watch that video or zero if you didn't watch the video? And that's the video of the two white guys chasing the black group down the shooting. Did y'all see that? That out in Georgia? Yeah, Anybody that was too much. You know what I said, but my whole point was you know, I was watching it, and I felt some type of way. I ain't heard about it till now, and that just pissed me off. Well, let me tell you, bro. I should, if you gonna hate the white folks, you gotta hate me too, and you gotta hate a lot of brothers that I know that are good brothers, because we was lost at one point, and I've gotten cars, and I've rolled down on black men, and I've shot them. You know, I, I mean, it's uh, it, this is a real, this is a real situation. And when I seen that, I felt like a failure or any black man that I've ever did anything to in the street feeling like I had to do that shit to survive. Like watching them do that and saying that they wrong, we was wrong and we still wrong. So if I could watch two white men ride down on a brother and say he wrong, then I could watch two black men ride down on a brother and say they wrong. And any black man that's going to say it's different is an idiot. Because I don't care about lynching. I don't care about the South. That's cool. But I'm talking about now. And unfashionable violence is silly to me. So how can you sit up and say, oh, them two white dudes can't kill that man, but me and my man could go shoot. Him. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. Doing that, if that's what you out there doing, then yeah, you can't be saying that. But at the end of the day, like nobody should be doing it. You shouldn't be that's doing what it. I'm so but we, but we, we, we get in an uproar about it. We start marching about it. I feel like everybody, everybody on this on this live right now, I'm gonna ask you to do something with me. You know what I'm saying? And um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is I want to make something go viral. And what I want to make go viral is that black on black violence is not a good look. But what I, what I want to do is I feel like it's it's a slap in the face where we watch somebody do something to us. And then we get mad, but we can do it to ourselves. You know, it's right. kind of like self-sabotage. So, you know, imagine, you know, if we can, so this is where this connects at. If we live in a world where red-ass dudes like 6 9 could get out and live and start a community and really be celebrated, then think about the spectrum. Then black people can stop killing each other. Because a rat could never walk out here like that. So how come a black man, so how come we can't switch the agenda, if you feel me? What's, because, up, with, huh? what's, up, with, what's up with the fact that, okay, how do you feel about 6 9 Like, he's, what is he, Mexican? He's Mexican? Yeah. And so, is it okay for Mexicans to identify themselves, like, use an N-word and acting like he 100% sure, sure. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to he tell you something that you don't black man. I'm about to tell you something that you don't know that a lot of these people don't know. Mexicans are the biggest snitches in the world. They tell <laughs> on black they tell on black men every day. If you go look at Rick Ross' case, he got told on by the plug. Mm -hmm. The plug that's the first time in history where a plug actually told on a worker. Mexicans turn in niggas every day. That's what they do. You mm. know what I mean? So in that in that situation, you know, that's why I don't, I don't be trying to get too political because don't nobody want to hear that. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I am really from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm really from the, the feds done been on us and all of that type of stuff.
Right, but I right. tell you this, black people, yeah. we can stop this right now because is the streets has changed. Things have changed. So, long story short, everybody who feel like I feel, um, yeah, this week man called Booker T. That was that was crazy. You know what I mean? But he owned him though. So everybody who feel like I feel that you know this hey this this violence is not a is not a good look. I want I want you to post something. My hand ashy. I want you to post something with your hand over your eye, whether it be your right hand or your left hand. And I want you to post, go to your Instagram and post to stop unfashionable violence because it's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? Update me what you're talking about. What I'm talking about is that black men have an opportunity to, to actually curve the environment, the continent right now. Six nine is changing the nature of the streets. The streets have gone to kaputs. There is no rules. There is no law. There is no commandments. There's it's anarchy. So at this point, as black men, we could come together, and because we don't care about moral, we don't care about law, we don't care about being felonies, but we care if we fresh. And killing another black man, that shit don't look good. It don't. I, I can't wear that. I don't want that jacket on. That don't fit me. I'm too fly for that. So what I want to do is I want to start an unfashionable violence movement because it's a slap in the face. And when you slap right. yourself in the face, it's not a good look because I can't see. You see what right. I'm saying? So if right. you uh, help me go online and, and, and slap yourself in the face for every violent thing that you did against a brother and, and, mm -hmm. and post that I am against this, stop unfashionable violence. And unfashionable means I can't wear that. That doesn't look good on me. You see right. what I'm saying? How do picking up a pistol and killing my brother, that don't feel good. That they don't go with these Giuseppes. They don't go with these 60, 70,000 I got on my neck. Killing right. you don't go with that. So right. if, I have to, if I have to touch you there, that's where I want to touch you at. So anybody who cares about black people or family or humans, like I care about them, Put your hand over your right eye and tell them, man, stop it, man. It's not a good look. Unfashionable mm -hmm. violence. Stop it. You know, I'm going to ask all my homies, the big homies, Snoop, Jimmy, you know what I'm saying, Wiz, Walker. I'm going to ask everybody to participate in the stop unfashionable violence. You'll see it everywhere we're going, so you know what it is. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I wanted mm -hmm. to talk to you all about. So I appreciate Chantel, I appreciate you coming back so we can mm -hmm. have our little talk, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. You know, I don't, you know what I mean? I just, I just, want, I want my people to be better. And we're right. going to be better. We're growing. You know, me and Chantel going to the top. We're going to CNN, I promise you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I want everybody, I want to take everybody and their opinions with me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's what that's about. Stop unfashionable violence. I would love if y'all would take some type of interest in that and watch how it spread. How beautiful would that be if it started here? If right. we set the see to stop unfashionable violence because it don't look good, because it's not a good look. Right. You hear me? All so, right. I feel it. I feel it. All right. So if you're just joining us in the loop and make sure y'all subscribe to our in the loop page. Um, it's in my bio. It's uh our producer, our director Davis, he'll uh post it in our comments too. Um, but this show, if you just if you don't know anything about this show, this is a countdown show. It's called In the Loop. We've been filming this show for about four months in studio, and now we're doing the IG Live version, obviously, because of the pandemic and everything. But we'll be back in the studio. But it's big things happening for this show. Subscribe to that page so y'all can keep in stay in the loop with us and follow us on the journey. We got tours coming up, you know, with a lot of celebrities where we'll be on site in the loop, New York, in the loop, Chicago, in the loop, LA. It's it's gonna be definitely a big look. So make sure y'all like subscribe to that page so y'all can keep up with us but we did the number one story which was Takashi 69 and talking about how he came out with his uh with his uh, latest uh song and that's where we kind of got onto the top the topic um of all the violence that's happening but I don't know 69 is a character to me I think he said some some interesting things in his IG live page two million people watching I mean he's got followers he talked about having numbers 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 and I think that it he talked to the judge about how he was going to get out of jail and he was going to actually 
you know, do the right thing and be a good influence, but he came out of jail and doing the same thing he's been doing. So I think if somebody like him tries to turn it around and do it, the, uh, do it a different way, he can have a lot of followers following him in the right direction, but you know, he's kind of young and clearly he don't have the right influences around him because he could be doing a lot with the influence that he got with his celebrity. So, but I guess that's just what it is. They need to put it. They need to put his. They need to put his rat ass in Walt Disney World. <laughs> the world biggest rat. You know, what I'm saying? it is what it is. Hey, um, R.I.P. to Little yes. Richard. Yes. And most definitely R.I.P. to Uptown baby, Uptown yes. Andre Harrell. Andre Harrell and uh, Little Richard and Betty Wright passed away. All of these people. Like, <laughs> they said the Simpsons did an episode about six nine. <laughs> I love our, hey, listen, I love our crowd, boy. Them boys I believe crazy. It. I believe it. Six, nine, and 94. We, talk, we talked about that in the last show, how they, since it's always coming up with all of these different, you know, like, sh these episodes that kind of, like, predict the future. And it's kind of weird. But yeah, I happy, believe Yeah, happy belated Mother's Day to everybody on the, on the, on the line. So we're going to... We need to. We're gonna go and get off because we just made it hell for. I made it hell for our producers to cut this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> baby, listen. <laughs> they be on my ass, man. I'm in so much trouble. You know what I'm saying? They be like, "Watch how you yeah, you want to do I said, "Look, as long as they don't take their belt off, I'm straight." You know what I'm saying? So, but yes. I, um, <laughs> the Simpsons killed Prince. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's oh, that's man. oh man, I can't wait to get y'all in the studio audience, man. That's gonna be great. Yeah, but uh I really I, I really do appreciate y'all. Like I said, if you if you can, man, just go and put your hand over your eye, man. Put it on Instagram. Let's make this stop the unfashionable violence movement. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. this and, and like I said, it's love. You know what I'm saying? We the freshish. Ugh, the freshest. We killing them, but we ain't killing them. So we slaying. But we ain't killing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. We out here slaying shit. We ain't killing Thank nobody. You Thank y'all so much for joining us. We appreciate that. Yes, the hashtag stop unfashionable violence. Make sure y'all utilize that. Post that. Stop unfashionable that. violence, baby. And do that. Shout out to you, fast. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching in the loop.